let's see about this next area over now. One of the concerns is, can I take my turrets with me into ta Dr. Calvino's workshop? No. No. There's literally no explanation for me. Uh, frustrating. I should be able to take the turrets with me. That's stupid. What if you made a character that specializes in turrets? You can't take them away from me. It's just a door. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be able to take him through a door? Oh. Well, now I don't have turrets. Howdy. Seem to have some coolant leaking. Huh. RBG, red, blue, green. Like the colors you use in a monitor? Radial, bipolar, and gyro. Huh. They mean different things, but they gave them the same color pattern and everything as RGB and stuff. Whoa. That's not good. Evil robots. Sneak attacks. Press C to sneak if you wish to avoid direct confrontation. While sneaking, you move... Silently and can hide behind cover to avoid being spotted as enemies detect you a meter will appear above them White means they are suspicious red means you're busted Aware unaware enemies take more damage from your attacks well, Let's crouch so This area has big nasty enemy robots apparently for me to worry about That's kind of that's adorable. It's bonking into the wall Robots were supposed to be my friends. Gotta be careful, there could be any number of enemies around here. And it, like, uh, secret ones, I mean, surprises. In addition to our dumb robot friends. Ow. Loaded and hurt me. Ooh. You can dismantle them from our parts. Oh, these aren't. That's the one lo not lootable planet. Jor Jorgen Thorsten. Thorstein. Hardware Labs Director. I don't have that one yet, do I? It might be masking my sounds, but I also am worried it's masking, masking enemy sounds. Big Bang Candy. Sorry, friend, but you're dead. You're my only hope. Hey, I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sardar. Join us from Nikki, Nikki Tanner to Hope Ellis. Hope Ellis to Franklin Good. Demo delay. Just a heads up that the Artex propulsion system... The fuck? Our tax propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We're still working on a slight calibration issue with the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about, Franklin. I think that was just the place acting up in general. Briefly thought I was being attacked from behind, which would have been bad. Never trust cups. Came from there. Grab right, what we can. That's a body. Bye. I don't know who that was. Might never know now. Trying to listen for skittering. 
I think I hear a machine in the distance somewhere. The bad ones. Too far, too fast. Too. Commercialization of space program, J.V. Edwards. And Johnson's term came to an end, paving the way for President Reagan. Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering. The eager push from previous decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. The Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar fa space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending in the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had already successfully prevented U.S. involvement in Vietnam, that focused on solving problems at home. An asteroid fragment. Neat. Can I look around at all? Oh, weird, the shadow's overrunning it, so you can't see past it. I thought it was- I thought it was despawning in front of me, I'm like, oh, that's a weird graphics glitch, but it was just the shadow blocking the light. There was definitely a corpse out there, I saw it. Ooh! Can probably jump that, maybe. Terraforming Mars. But the cost of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering and their Spartan shells are a far cry from the idyllic colonies pictured by turn-of-the-century inspirational space tourism posters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, Tra Transtar President Alex Yu reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic in a grassy field, then pick out the point of light that is Earth after the sun sets. Enabling this <clears throat> Enabling this vision requires terraforming Mars, the most challenging engineering problem the human race has ever faced. You present an innocuous gray moss to me, an extremophile organism designed specifically for that purpose. Dubbed Takakai, Takakiai Catherine, the simple looking plant is actually a fantastically efficient organic machine that, given enough centuries, will convert the Martian atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. Not completely crazy. Ultimately, it was extremophiles on some level that created Earth as it is today. They they lived on this planet and slowly changed it over time, and, and the world that we have now is only possible because of the organisms that existed before us. But I don't know if Earth, if Mars has stuff on it that supports any kind of life, really, right now. Base elevator... Yep, that's the same one we read every single time before. They want they really want to know about that space elevator. Are you gonna come after that? No. Nope. The corrupted enemy. I may be able to make use of this. One hit, one kill. Awesome. That went exactly how I'd hope. Is that gonna kill me? Let's, I've, I saved, so let's test it. Ow! Alright, well I'm gonna die now. Jesus Christ. Yep. Don't go near lightning things, they're bad for you. There is a phantom super close to me right now, by the way. It's loud. It must be above me? I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Oh no. Concerning thoughts. The remorse of a dead man that's become a phantom. Oh! How many of them are over there? There's one phantom there. Some corpses. Now we know where at least one of them is. It's the hardware labs. Poke away through here real quick. Don't think it's gonna find me in here for now. Weapon upgrade kit. Very happy to find that. And some bullets. 
don't know why I picked you up. You can go back. Now it's pistol fabrication plan. Alright. The ability to make more ammo. And a tissue box. Which looks suspiciously like an upgrade at times. I can manually lock you. Neat. Oh. Another silenced pistol. I can turn you into goopiness. Sure. So it's a security station. Download the area map? Yes. Hello. So we're in this area. That goes back to the lobby. We're in the foyer. There's the atrium, ballistics lab, machine shop. Dr. Calvino's workshop is my goal, apparently. Demonstration stage. Sure. A few different floors. What? There's a basement to the demonstration stage. And there's a second level with a beam and waves lab above the atrium, machine shop, a few other things. Okay. I can reset the checkpoint or unlock the security locker. Honestly, not entirely sure what I just did, but we'll find out, I suppose. How about crew? We're in the hardware labs, right? I think we're supposed to be in the hardware labs right now. Is there anyone that's alive? Crew quarters. Ah, exotic materials, hardware lab, Thaddeus York. So is he in, is he in this area? Thaddeus York's supposed to be over here. Let's see if we can find a living person for once. That'd be cool. Someone who's not mind controlled, perhaps. Where am I going to find the security locker? Is it the one that I already opened? This was already open when I got here. I'm not sure. It's so close to me. It's got to just be directly above me or something. <gasps> Turret? Wait, where is it? Turret. Yes. Don't even have a plan yet, but I'm just gonna have you set up for now. There we go. Spare parts, thank you. This is just like the type of things you put like screws in and stuff. Supply crate, thank you. I'm pretty sure he's, like, right above me. There he is. The fountain... It... it trigger from the fountain heals me by one hit point. Dear lord. So you could like slowly grind your health away here if you wanted to. If I don't get killed for the noise I'm making. And the sound design in this game is aggravating. Not necessarily a complaint, I'm just acknowledging that the game, everything in this game is super loud. Stuff that's like far away sounds like it's right up in your head. I think System Shock 2 was like that too. Running out of space? I guess I could just eat it. Might as well. He's right in the next room. I would like to at least get a turret or something nearby to help out. Cooking with cauliflower! No, not really interested in that one. No thank you. Russian blinis and shaker lemon pie. Sure. Can't really find space for those things. Is there anything important around here? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Hey, you've got you have got space for. Oh, you can mouse wheel to scroll between them. Interesting. Actually, there's, there's organic material I could gather if I wanted to, but I need to 
For the moment, I don't have the inventory space for it. Another baseball card. I mean, baseball glove, of course. Weapon upgrade kit. Blue cannon. Take the ammo. Don't have room for the rest right now. Hey, you. Come over here. There we go. Oh, that's what the siren was, was me going through security. And to get him to attack me. Doesn't seem interested in coming down here. Frustrating, you could be such a clean kill. All I've really accomplished is falling down here. Huh. Clinking noises are less effective than you might hope. Sneak attack for bonus damage. Can it come down here? Where is that sound coming from? Where you at, buddy? Did you, you running away? I wonder, is he lightning elemental? Because there's like lightning in the area? Oh god, there he is. That, that was the wrong ICU indicator in the area. He just disappeared. Weird, I don't think he's gonna follow me down here. <laughs> oh. All right, well this is not helping me. I thought I was going to be clever and have him l and get lured into that, but apparently apparently they won't come downstairs in this situation. Weird. I really thought he would. I pointed at him from here. Come on, shoot up there. That's frustrating. Oh, you prick. Alright, well my turrets are letting me down right now. Fine, I'll just fight it. He kind of wandered off now. There we go. A little bit of a heal over time effect to help me out here. I could have handled this whole situation better, but I just really thought that the turret was going to be more helpful than, than that. But the floor change is a problem. Anyone else coming? Whoa. Now there's a bunch of stuff. One of you, some more of you. The well-fed thing is worn off. Go for our next one. Getting a lot of concerning noises around me that I'm not really psyched about. Oh shit! Gotcha. There we go. I handled that one better, at least. <laughs> All right. Everything reloaded. Looks like it. Titus Cromwell. Places are almost dense with dead people. What do we have here? Thaddeus York. Oh, that one's an exclamation point. Look at that. 
Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. I really want my turret up here. That's weird. Didn't it wake up because it saw me? So why is it like... Why is it not going after me directly right now? Oh, hey, there's another turret over there. <laughs> I went under the table with it. Unnerving. Hey, buddy. You're not having a great time, are you? There we go. You'll help watch over this room for me. <laughs> oh, there's a snowman. Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. I've got eels and stuff on me. Oopsie. Baseball glove. Asteroid fragment. Can't take the eels, but I can take the other things with me. Definitely getting thumping I don't want to hear right now. Yep, bad thumps are happening. Grab one of you. Feed this to an ENG operator after you memorize group workstation's password, macro 11. That's you? Yep. Get back to you in just a second. I don't, let's get back to the computer I was actually on. They have this exact thing a lot. Oh, it's a fan. That's why. I thought it was a trophy of some kind because it's all shiny and gold and ridiculous looking. What's down here? Alright, dead guy. Big bang candy. Probably should be eating that stuff on site. Speaking of which, there's like another piece of food around here, right? Finish my recovery. Didn't I leave more around? I guess it didn't leave any more around here. I've gone through it all now. Alright. Let's just slowly eat for a bit. Alright, back to what I was doing before I got assaulted. Thaddeus, please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it, but I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. Dr. Thorstein. Did you lose this? Hey, this is Gus down on Cargo Bay. I found something curious in an outbound ca uh, container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pythias facility. May have been an accident. I don't know. One of the officers put in a safe. One of the officers put it in a safe with the life support suits. Sorry, I'm so distracted by all the sounds happening right now. One of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want to back talk to them. Can I turn you off or something? Oh, I thought that shut you up for a second there. Dang it. That's constantly making noises behind me, but also that I couldn't tell if that guy was getting closer to me to, to attack me or not. He definitely sounded closer. I can't pick up either of those things? I probably want those things, too. Uh, that might just be scrap. Thaddeus. Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors. So I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. I have left everything in working order for while I'm out, just, but just in case, I'm sending you the key code to my office. It's 9354. That's from Jorg, Jorgen Thorstein. That, we've seen that. We've, we've been there before. So I, I have the code to that door now. Good. How to fix an operator. Start. Apply impact collaboration, which means hit it. Did it work? No? Try again. Just keep hitting it until something happens. Percussive maintenance, aka hit with wrench until it works. A plus strategy right there. Group small scale testing. Let's see. You win. To whoever gave dear Mr. Gluey McGlueface arms, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first, I thought the jellied eel hat could not be topped. I stand corrected.
It's so fucking close sounding all the time. I hate it. I bow to the... Uh, sorry. Your triumphant creation of a baseball glove hand cannot be equaled. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. If you need supplies... Hey, there's a reminder that if you need supplies for the machine shop, the supply closet's key code is, nine, is 3989. If you take anything, please let me know. There's a machine shop uh, supply closet. Glue test results. Specimen FHJ89C. Glue adhesion test. Test specimen preparation. Dimensions shall be optimized. Something, something. Metal plate. Thoroughly coated specimen in sheet, on sheet metal plate successfully with occurrences of minimal waste. And immediately transfer specimen to conditioning environment. Successful. Removed. Uh, recommend moving to full scale. Note, glue is still vitreophobic. Jorgen Thorstein. Alright, so main main thing is we have an acknowledgement of Gluey McGlue face, which is amazing. And we have uh, nothing else, because can't take anything else here. Oh, I can eat you. I can use for the moment, and everything else is just kind of items. I can throw if I want to. Bye! Alright, so we have the obvious code for Thor... For the guy over there, uh... I kind of want to keep you in this corner, actually. It's a good spot, because nothing nothing can likely sneak up behind it. Or at least it's, it's unlikely. And it's around a corner, so it'll catch them by surprise without getting seen first, because these enemies have projectile attacks, which means that they can attack stuff like my friendly little turret friends, uh, before they can re respond. You poor guy. I feel bad about you. At least put you away a little bit. I don't know if I want to repair it right now. We'll see. Just because it, it uh, burned through my supplies, and we now have established that I can't take them with me into other zones, which is frustrating. Nine. Nine, three, five, four. Okay, I kind of want my turret now. <laughs> I could take the clean one, but that would involve taking that one downstairs, and I don't know if I can take it back up. Oh, there's one right here. Are there explosives around I can throw at it? That's definitely Thorstein. Oh, fuck you. He didn't like that. You know what? I'm taking you. You're my best friend. What's that? And how do I get it? Ah, somebody's keeping their alcohol hidden away. They feel shameful or something. Go sneaky before I get in trouble here. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, yeah. You inside the room now. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate. Too, that's unfortunate. Fried hard drive, recycler charge, ooh. Dangerous prototype device that attracts all objects within a short radius and recycles them into material fragments. Can be thrown... Or attached to surfaces. Oh my god. So just everything around it becomes recycle pieces. That's crazy. So it'll turn everything around it into those recycle cubes instead of having to... That's what it meant when I said I was immune to recycle charges. It made me immune to that thing. That's interesting. I assume it works on enemies because I called it dangerous. So I can probably turn my enemies into recyclable material. Beyond the stars. Dubbed the Reyes Field Theory. This discovery proved to be the jumping-off point for a string of scientific miracles Transtar began churning out less than a year later. Take, for example, the, the now ubiquitous operators, which take advantage of a localized levitation effect derived from the theory's gravitational outworkings. Indeed, from the matter-stripped field interactions inside the bowels of recyclers to the artificial gravity that keeps boots firmly planted on the Italian marble of the Talos One lobby, the impact of Dr. Reyes' theory is undeniable. 
It's like somebody talking about Adam, but... Shut! Clear. Fucking jump scare game. <laughs> this game is just one long jump scare, ultimately, isn't it? Oh, that door's open. That's unnerving. Did I hit that? Is it dented? Did I hit that from here? I did. Holy crap, the range on this swing is crazy. Hey, look, that's how... <laughs> that's the kind of grid I have set up when I schedule my, uh... When I'm keeping track of my scheduled recordings for all my different games. All the way down to having six rows, because I have six playthroughs right now. And I just color in squares as I go to make sure I've... I've got the number of episodes done. So, glue cannon... Complete. I'm working on the Q-beam, recycler charge, black box, looking glass... Artax propulsion system and the glue cannon. All right. Corroded coil. Space elevator. Everyone's always talking about the goddamn space elevator, huh? There's a few things around here. I assume that all these inanimate, all these random objects that I can't normally pick up and use as inventory items also won't be converted, probably by the uh, the converter thing. That's what I currently think. Not really sure. Oops. Sorry. My new- my new reployer. Dr. Thorstein, I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new reployer. I know some people have been waiting- been on waiting list to get one of these, and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this- feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. Thanks for the new thing. Uh, sorry, but, um... What is it? <laughs> Part requisition. Wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down in the hardware today, just standing there as if not sure where to go. And when I offered to help, Morgan asked uh, for more operator parts. I asked if the last ones we'd sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean, no offense, but Morgan's requisition requisitioned enough to repair any operator in the station five times over now. And we have other operators that need maintenance. Clive. That's me. What am I doing with so many parts? Is that before the tests began? Do I have some sort of back background detail? Do I have a nasty secret? I want all the stuff. I'm not sure if I want to immediately throw a grenade in the middle of it to turn all the stuff though right now. I want to use it against an enemy or something? I also need to grab the grenade itself, I suppose. Okay, let's find something to drop or eat. Actually, let's, let's uh... Let's eat something that only takes up one, that's alone in its stack right now. Is that food right there? Sunburst banana pudding. Okay. There we go. Now I can at least grab the grenade thing. Look at you. I bet you're neat. When detonated, the recycler charge breaks down the molecular structure of nearby objects into your recycled material. Your uniform offers some degree of protection, but is not fail-safe. Standing too close can, prov can pr uh, prove hazardous. Recycler charges can be thrown or fixed to stationary objects using mouse one. I hope- I really hope there's like a custom death where you uh- Whoa, it's got like a little computer fan on it. I hope there's like a custom death where you get turned into a, a shitty little cube and that's just the end of your story is that you got cubified. Deploying. So we're now above the main lobby on the other side. Goddamn mugs. Never trust them. 